Well, here we go. I'm getting started with the uh, new project, and uh, so I've got a couple of uh, photographs up here. Of uh, this is a Connecticut uh, piece uh, made out of cherry, and um, I like the hardware treatment on the left one and the uh, drawer treatment on the uh, right one, and. Uh, we're going to have quarter columns. You can hardly see there are quarter columns on the uh, right one as well. So uh, I've gone ahead and made uh, full-size drawings of the uh, case that we're going to build or uh, cabinet that we're going to build, and uh, so they're there. Uh, and you know, with it, I can figure out the uh, material list. So. Uh, over here, you can see this is uh, the book uh, that I have here, and there's another uh, chest of drawers, and they're very similar. And this is called Masterpieces of Furniture, which was made in the 30s. Uh, the book, yeah, but it so it has a chest of drawers in here, very similar to the one that uh, I've decided to make. So I was able to get quite a few of the dimensions off of this case and uh, modified it to uh, my own uh, liking and uh, so that's what I made the full-size drawing with. Then over here I've got a materials list that I made uh, after I made the drawing and then uh, this is a uh, cardboard template for the uh, blades and the drawer fronts and of course it's half size. So over here I made one drawer blade uh, to see how I like the curve and uh, it seems like it's pretty good. It's a 5 eighths of an inch uh, curve. Uh, I originally had it doubled to an inch and a quarter and uh, Doug Mulder helped me out and uh, we redrew it and so this is the proper uh, shape. So. Um, I'm going to go Tuesday and buy some lumber and get started on the project. I'm uh, flattening the bottom now of the uh, chest of drawers and it's made from poplar and I've got two 12 inch boards here that I've got to flatten. Just uh, finishing up the second board here. That should do it. Now I'm going to run it through the planer. Running them through the planer on the other side. So I've uh, got them milled down to 13, or a little thicker, actually 30 second thicker than 13 16 And then I just uh, squared off the edges here, and uh, it makes a pretty good fit. So with a little clamping, I think we're 
ready to glue it up. And that's the bottom. So here's the uh, bottom glued up uh, after I had uh, planed it and then cut it to uh, ripped it to width. And uh, so it's a little larger yet, and certainly uh, a little longer than it needs to be. So. Um, it's all glued up here and in about an hour I'll uh, loosen the calls and uh, scrape off the excess glue. Well after squaring up the uh, bottom uh, panel here and uh, milling it to 13 sixteenths of an inch I uh, have cut it to, to width but as far as length goes uh, I've used the pattern here to uh, scribe the uh, front uh, pattern to it uh, as you can see there and uh, so now it's just a matter of cutting it out and then uh, smoothing over the edge this is a, a front edge uh, in fact the entire bottom is not seen so it doesn't have to be perfect uh, although it should be uh, exactly the right size cutting out the bottom of the uh, chest using a flush trim bit to uh, smooth over the curve. So after using the flush trim bit on the bottom here, uh, the edge is nice and smooth so uh, the bottom's all set to go. So the sides uh, need to be dovetailed into that. So uh, I've got to get the, the cherry so that we can continue on.